Hi folks, welcome to this next video on the MLS project. And the project has made quite some progress uh, in the last months, um, which I was not showing by YouTube videos, but now there is a new feature added, which I want to show you briefly as a video. Namely, that MLS can do now or does support now the Yapu telemetry script. Right, so here we have an ordinary uh, OpenTX transmitter. You can also use HTX for that. You need to configure everything correctly. Right, you need to install the Yapu telemetry app. But now you can see it's running here. So that's this Yapu telemetry app. You actually need to use the dev version. The stable does not work. And uh, here I have my MLIS set up. And what I have here is my usual uh, or typical design for a transmitter module, but what's somewhat uh, novel about it, that it uses the E22 um, module. That is, it works on uh, 868 MHz. Uh, on the copter, I have a similar installation. So this here is now uh, the receiver. So it's a bit of a high-tech installation. So that's the antenna, that's the receiver, it's just floating here. And this is here where you have this uh, module here. So it's relatively small, so size-wise that's okay. So I want to switch it on now. So I switch on the copter. So you see that uh, things here start to Blink, oh, it's already connection established, right? So here you also can see the green light for the connection established. And now we just need to wait a bit for the autopilot copter controller to boot up. It has done it now, and now you can see that you get here this telemetry all into it. You, of course, also get all the uh, CRSF sensors, right? So when you go here to, uh, the, to the telemetry page, here you have now all the usual, uh, all the telemetry sensors, CRS sensors, which you uh, might expect to see. Okay, so um, that's obviously all working. You also can go into the debug CSF uh, Yapu Lua script. So you can see that uh, all these messages, they are coming in, right? And in, for you to understand what's going on, I mean, the data is transmitted by bidirectional mufflink. So the communication through the air is by bidirectional mufflink. And what is happening only is that in this transmitter module, there is now the conversion from mufflink to CISF, including the pass-through um, telemetry messages uh, which you need for the Yapu script to work. Okay, so that's how it's working. So therefore, when you look up into the uh, into the setup for the for the external receiver, it's just CSF. So this should show you that what you see in this video can be run on any vanilla radio which supports CSF and which supports the Yapu telemetry app. Okay. So an additional feature which you have is that on the module you have a serial port to which you can connect, for example, a Bluetooth module. Actually, there's also on the board inside this module, there's another possibility to, to solder this on. So you can actually make a nice um, hardware where the Bluetooth model is integrated into your TX MLS module. I just put it down here now as a flying thing. So what this means is, so we have now here this Bluetooth connection and through this Bluetooth connection, you get the full muffling stream. So that's what I want to show you. That uh, we can connect on the computer now. We can open a mission planner. And that's, uh, I need to fetch a box. Sorry, I should have done this before. All right, so we can open mission planner like so. Um, we look here. We look here for the Bluetooth port, which I think is indeed with COM52 in this case. So now we just connect. Now the connection will take a while, right? So we just to repeat what's happening here. So the connection will be now from from the PC running Mission Planner through this Bluetooth model, which is connected to um, to the 
TXMLS module going through a wireless link. Now you see that the connection is not that fast and this is because I'm running this now in the 19 Hertz mode, right? And in the slow mode, the SMUF FTP is not working well. I mean, so the timing of mission plan is a bit too yeah, optimistic, right? And that's why you're getting stuck so long in this SMUF FTP. There is an option in the flight controller where you can disable MUF FTP so that you don't have to, that, that you don't have this additional time here coming in. So you can disable it when you don't have this attempt of Mission Planner to download the parameters by MUF FTP. I just have not disabled it. So, I mean, you see here what's going on really. So while we down, so you see that the upload of the parameters is relatively fast. So it takes 20, 30 seconds, right? What we can do in the meantime is that we briefly look on this page here where you can see what it means that we have the 19 Hertz mode. So the 19 Hertz mode is the least performant one. So at maximum you can do 1500 bytes per second, but you practically cannot use it because of how autopilot works and how mission planner works, right? Um, if you would use the 31 Hertz mode, it would work. You would have much higher bandwidth and also of course for the 2.4 gigahertz mode where you have 4000 bytes per second. So I'm showing you here this 19 Hertz mode, the behavior for the 19 Hertz mode. And that's obviously because that's the least performant operation mode. And so you just see what's going on. So in the meantime, you have noticed that uh, we uploaded all parameters. We are connected to Mission Planner. So when I'm moving the copter, so let's make it like so. And let's start the telemetry app. Now when I'm moving the copter, you can see it, of course, uh, in the telemetry app that it's moving, right? And you also can see it here uh, in the mission planner. Now you could do everything in mission planner you wanted to do and so on and so forth. So that's what I wanted to show you. So you can ordinary radio transmitters which support CSF and the YAPU telemetry app to use MLS to get this telemetry on your radio and at the same time get the full muffling stream wirelessly forwarded to, for example, Mission Planner. Now in the last part of the video, we will go to the outside and I will briefly show you, you all this in real world. That is, we will briefly let the copter fly. See you in a second.